One of my favourite art things to do is the ordinary doodle. I do love a doodle, don't you? It's a really simple and fun way of doing art. And one of my favourite things to doodle with is actually watercolour pens. Watercolour pens matched with maybe paint pens or fine line markers or any other kind of pen really. You can get some really interesting colourful looks for your doodling. So today what I thought we could do is, well, I wanted to get you into a doodly frame of mind and if you go grab yourself some pens, some paper, some water too, if your pens are water reactive and let's have a relaxing meditative doodle session today. Something a bit sort of more laid back. And I like to play with the dye inks of these kind of pens. Watercolour pens usually are dye inks. And one of the ways I like to do this is to add shapes to paper and then add water to the shapes and let the water move the ink around on the paper. The paper that I'm using is a studio watercolour paper, so it's a little bit thinner than your artist quality or your professional quality watercolour paper. And you can see some of the other ways that I like to use these pens as we work. I mean, they're pretty versatile. It's worthwhile just playing and seeing what you can do with them. Try using them on wet paper, try using them on dry paper and then adding water. There's just a whole load of combinations and ways that you can use them. And you can also flick them. Try flicking the tip, although if you're doing that with your finger, it can make your finger very colourful. So you might want to try doing it with something else like a, you could flick it with a pencil or something like that. So th there's a lot of techniques you can actually do with an ordinary pen like this. Just, you know, play and experiment with it. I love the way that the ink kind of fuzzes out from the edges on a wet surface and you can get crisp sharp edges if you put them onto a dry area or you get sort of fuzzy edges where it's wetter and the ink just sort of spreads out across that wet surface. You do have to be a bit more patient with this type of pen work I've kind of found. I like to let my areas dry in their own time so I won't sort of try and speed up the process at all. With heat I will just let the paper dry and if you know me I'm not a patient person <laughs> so this does take quite a lot of effort on my account but I might do, I might set up a few of these so that I can let them dry and then come back in to play with more pen work over the top. once I've got the colour that I wanted in my background I move on to paint pens and this particular paint pen it's a black one it's got acrylic ink in it and this is going to finish off my doodle but you can really you don't have to use paint pens for this you could use fine line markers any other kind of pens really but they do work better once that background colour has dried And I love how the lines look with the dye ink pen work. So that crispness of the paint pen over those lovely spread out dye marks. And it works particularly well with dyes because you get a brighter colour. But you can also do this on watercolour with just ordinary watercolour paint as well. And I've done that before too. There are some watercolour doodles on my channel. I love how dramatic the pens look together and the fiery colours of this one work really well. Another one of my favourite things is the way that the black ink of the Echo Lime pen works with water and you get these sort of graduations of grey, you can get a really intense black from it or you can get these lovely grey movements too. And how that works with the black of the paint pen. 
I don't know. It's just the simple things sometimes fascinate me completely in the contrast of just using two different types of black pen in different ways <laughs> just adds a lovely texture. So usually I will start a few of these pieces in one go and I'll cut down my studio watercolour paper into smaller shapes. This paper is actually a little bit bigger than A4 size so I usually cut them in half and add in some random watercolour pen marks and water, doodle on there one by one, see what happens, let the colours merge and mix and hopefully you'll get some lovely textures developing too. Then I leave the paper to dry completely before I add in any more line work to it. And there's just something magical about the way the pen works on this for me, something I just really like. I think it also comes from the doodles I do in my daily doodle diary and I mostly use pen or pencil for those. Usually I won't add water to them, I just do it in an, in an old diary so it doesn't take a lot of water, the paper just can't take water. But then doing something like this on some watercolour paper just fits nicely with that practice and it's an extension of that practice. And usually if I do a few of these I might have one or two that don't quite work for me. Maybe the colours don't mix so well or perhaps I've added in too much water and the texture's been lost. I mean it can happen. But I like to push the pens as far as I can and get as much from them as I can too. So I'm not worried if I don't. If I have a few from my bunch that don't work then that's fine. That's just part of the whole process. And one of the great things about doodling is that you can just really take your mind off things, can't you, with it. And the doodle can just be a pattern like this one or you can go more complex and make recognisable images, create whole worlds with it. It really doesn't matter. You can really express yourself with just playing with your doodles. Pattern work is almost a form of meditation, isn't it? I find it very relaxing. So I hope you're feeling nice and relaxed now and ready to do some art if you haven't already been doodling along with me. I have more mixed media ideas and techniques to try in these videos here. So I hope you have a lovely creative time today and I will catch you again soon for some more art. Thanks for watching. Bye!